at this point, I've had the Spark for about six months, and that's given me tons of time to test it out, you know, get get a bunch of hours under my belt, and uh, and so I figured it was about time to make a five things I love about the Spark video. Conversely, because you can't have one without the other, I'm gonna also make a video about the five things I don't like about the Spark, and I'll release that about a week after this one. By the way, you may have noticed a little change in scenery since the last time I made a video like this. I am super excited to be able to say that I bought my first house, which means I now own a little piece of this earth, and it's pretty awesome. I've been working on the studio, and I think, uh, I think it's coming along nicely. TV set up for video games, filing cabinet, uh, beer fridge, stereo system. I got the uh, computing station right over there behind me that's set up um, you know, for editing these videos, among other things. And then the, that area with the old desk, that's going to change. But I made this desk myself. I think it's pretty sweet. Pretty basic, but I think it looks awesome. Hi, Shiner. Hi. All right, let's get to the video. Okay, so number one, the biggest reason I bought the Spark is its size. It's tiny. Overall, it's just... I said it when I got it, and I opened it out of the box. It's amazingly small. I've seen the drone in other people's palms, but here it is in mine, and it really is small. Abilities for something this size is really impressive. That is the number one reason I got this thing. So number two, believe it or not, is the hand gestures. I love the idea of the hand gestures. I loved the hand gestures then after I got it and tried it out. I thought it was pretty awesome. Now you know, if you've seen my first Spark video, that I did not like the hand gestures at first in that I thought they were frustrating. Um, I had situations where the drone would get stuck up in the air because it'd lose sight of you and it would not come down unless you were pulled out the controller, connected everything, and brought it down. And I thought that eliminated the purpose of the gestures. Um, DJI has vastly improved that and even added features to the gestures. And that is going to give me the perfect segue into number three, which is the fact that DJI is a well-known maker of drones. Thus, they are constantly updating and constantly um, making this drone better with their firmware and software updates. The changes that have been made to this thing, not only for safety purposes, but also just for use, have been um, really awesome. And that is something that is one of the, that is a big reason why I love this drone. So you probably are surprised to hear me say that I love the updates they've done to this because I think as a lot of you know, um, I was frustrated with this thing because the controls and the features and everything are not intuitive to use, um, but after some time, they're not difficult to pick up either. So that didn't even make my top five of things I don't like um, about this drone. All right, so number four on my list is going to be the video quality, which a lot of you are probably gonna squawk at because it doesn't shoot in 4K, um, but I'm gonna, I, I'm just, here, here's some footage right now. <laughs> Is it the best out there? No. But for something this size, it's fantastic. For an amateur like myself, it is fantastic. It, it works great. 1080p is amazing. And 
I expected the video quality to not be as good as it is, just knowing that it wasn't set up to be the best, but it, it has continued to astound me, the footage I can get off of this thing. All right, so my last one, the fifth one, is going to be all of the sensors in the drone. So whether it's the collision avoidance or the GPS or the way in which it takes in all of the information and it's able to hover in place so well um, is really impressive for something this size and impressive for um, any drone, really. And I know DJI has drones that maybe do that better and, and, and operate on those things better, but for the Spark and for something this size, it really truly is an impressive feat of um, the technology and everything that goes into that. So that rounds out my top five of what I love about DJI's Spark. I'd love to hear what you guys love about the Spark. It's always good to share field notes. I'm going to end this video showing more of that amazing footage. Please hit that like button or give me a subscribe or both. And I'll see you next week for the things that I don't like about the Spark.